Yeah. Would you support a, comp a change in the structures to allow a completely independent unit inside the Labour Party, independent of the leader's office, to look at anti-Semitism uh, allegations? Because that's what it means. I have been saying for since Chami Chak Chakrabarti came out with her report during the time of the previous General Secretary, where she said you needed to have an independent process, an independent of politicians, we needed to have a quasi-judicial process. Do you agree with uh, Emily Thornberry on that independent system? Look, that's actually what Jenny Formby has been moving towards. So, you know, I don't think there's any... Dis you won't get disagreement well, outsourcing, from this would be outsourcing party processes to a, a totally new independent system for dealing with complaints. I mean, I think you need some independence. And, I, you know, I think the way in which the conversation has gone in saying that this is somehow the leader's office, um, actually, the complaints process is separate. And I think where there has been but it's evidence... it's still within Labour. I think she was implying that it would be outside of I the think, Labour Look, I don't know. I'm not an expert on how best to do complaints, but I think at the end of this, Labour Party will be. And if there's anything to be gained from this, then it's having a very clear, professional complaints process in which people can see that justice is being done. And we're obviously not there yet. We have invested more in the staff, uh, the speed at which anti-Semitism cases are being dealt with is four times the rate and um, of course we have to remember that this is a tiny percentage of the membership you know less than one percent that have you know undermined the rest of the movement and so many of us are very angry about this but absolutely whatever we can do to the complaints process to make sure that we can get over this you know it, awful period including making it totally independent of the Labour Party look, I, again look I think there's ways in which you can bring in independent advisors but it's whatever it takes at this point I think is the point that Emily is making right you seem reluctant to agree with Emily Thornberry who says it should be I mean, I, I, the point is, is that I'm, I just want us to do the best thing you can do for tackling racism, as I want us to do across society. Um, so if that looks like an independent body, that looks like an independent body. But I need to, you know, I want to see the evidence for it. All right. The Parliamentary Labour Party is meeting this evening. You want to be a Labour MP. How does it get resolved, um, relationship between uh, the leadership and the PLP, the Parliamentary Labour Party? So, look, I think one thing we have to do is take out the factionalism. We have to look at what's yeah. happened and the facts, and we have to look at the messengers, the messages rather than the messengers of those facts. Um, look, I'm not someone that says that we don't have an issue with anti-Semitism. Of course, uh, even if it's a minority, it's still way too high that we have had this issue. But this is and more it broad, and more it's broad, broad in terms that. of the relationship yeah, exactly. between the two. How... So it's one about this issue of, the, of what's happened uh, to this group of people, um, and it's also about the complaints procedure. So we've got got to have some uh, clear procedures going forward and I think you know where but it's been where where people are weaponizing it they need to step back because we actually what I'm really interested in dealing with right. is the actual racism we need to focus on that and what do the you best think MPs forward. have been weaponizing it within the Labour Party has that been part of the problem for not being able to resolve it between the the leadership and the parliamentary party no, it's difficult because there is a problem and people and 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 the leadership themselves have said Jeremy Corbyn has said himself John McDonnell has said others have said that the problem wasn't dealt with fast enough um, so there, it's not to say there isn't a problem and it's not to deny that people have said awful uh, racist and Semitic things, but there are those that have weaponized it. And I've seen it myself where people have cared a lot about anti-Semitism, but then haven't cared about other types of racism. And you have to ask why that is. But right. look, I don't want I don't want to say that we don't have an issue. We have to deal with anti-Semitism as we have to deal with all types of racism so that we can govern in a way in which we lead on these issues as well. Right. I mean, Vince, listening to this um, and Pfizer will point to problems in other parties too. What do you think the best way forward is for the Labour Party in terms of resolving this? Well, in terms of complaints procedures, all parties have had to up their game in this area in the last...